When you walk around downtown Fredericton, St. John, or Moncton, it's easy to notice different forms of art everywhere you go. From paintings, to sculptures, to performances. Today, we are going to talk about a particular kind of performance called drag. Have you ever heard of drag? Drag is a type of entertainment where people dress up and perform, often in highly stylized ways. Drag is a way to play with the idea that many people hold about masculinity and femininity. When someone is in drag or doing drag, it means that they're doing an exaggerated form of gender play, usually different from the gender that they identify with in their regular lives, but not always. Drag has been around a long time. In the 1800s, the term in drag usually referred men who were dressing up in feminine clothing and taking on the behaviors associated with women at the time. Drag queens are usually, but not always, cisgender men and or trans or non-binary people who get into drag and perform exaggerated versions of femininity. Drag kings are usually, but not always, cisgender women and or trans or non-binary people who perform exaggerated versions of masculinity. Did you know that Fredericton is home to many local drag queens and kings who perform regularly? Have you ever heard the terms fierce or shade or yas queen? These terms were born in the New York ballroom scene in the 1980s. Ballrooms were important spaces for trans and queer people of color, particularly Black and Latinx people, who would often perform in themed competitions. Performers would talk, dance, pose, and vogue in response to categories. Ballrooms were also a place where drag performers would build community, organize politically, and hold space for one another. It is important to remember that the drag we know today in New Brunswick has been inspired by drag's roots in Black, Latinx, and communities of color. The drag community in Fredericton features a wide variety of performers. There are drag queens and drag kings of different sexualities and gender identities. There are performers who dance and performers who do comedy. One thing these performers all have in common is their love for drag. Many performers see their drag as an act of self-care and community care. Another form of community care is political activism. For example, Fredericton's drag king, Justin Too Deep, is involved in local activism, including performing drag in order to save Clinic 554, a clinic that supports queer and trans-affirming care in downtown Fredericton. Another example is Frida Wales, a drag queen who has been highly involved in fostering the drag community in Fredericton over the past three years. At the end of every month, Frida Wales co-hosts a fundraiser called Bottomless Bingo, which is held at the Capitol Complex and raises money for local charities. Places like Boom Nightclub and the Capitol Complex are important to LGBTQ plus communities in Fredericton because they are spaces where LGBTQ plus people can meet up, organize, and feel seen and safe. As of July 2020, Boom Nightclub was rebought and will soon open as a community center by day and nightclub in the evening. They hope to open this new space in October 2020. What spaces do you go to in order to feel safe? and scene.